LDW MMAC. Who is swag if I'm not swag? Who is swag if I'm not swag? <laughs> That's Deion Sanders. I got a Deion Sanders video coming uh, pretty soon. But uh, yeah, y'all. Okay, so let me go ahead and give you my thoughts on this. Okay, as I as I think about this matchup, okay, we, I mean we know one thing for sure. We know Carla Esparza is gone. Okay, she's out of there. And you know, I, I, I kind of have to say good riddance. Um, really, actually, how she won the belt was was a little suspect. And I mean, she got it based on one takedown, in my opinion. I think Carla Esparza hit a takedown on Rose Namajunas that got her the belt. Either way, she still won the belt twice. And, you know, hey, that's a feat that don't happen a lot. So I'll give Carla her props. Now, here's the thing, man. The matchup that I'm calling for, that the matchup that I believe, in my opinion, that's going to happen next is Jean Valet versus Amanda Lemos, okay? Now, you have two exciting styles, okay? The UFC will be absolutely dumb not to make this fight. And guys, before I keep going any more in this video, please excuse the background noise. And y'all know I'm driving uh, on my way to destination, trying to make money. But okay, folks. But yeah, the UFC would be dumb not to make this fight. They'd be stupid. Okay, why wouldn't they make this fight? Why wouldn't they? I mean, this fight, you got two top straw weights right here, right here in your face. And this fight's gonna be explosive. It's gonna be electrifying. However, I got Amanda Lemos beating Jean Wallet. Um, his wife, okay? I think Amanda Lemos, I think she's got way too much power for the style that Wheelie presents, okay? I think she got too much power. And what I mean by that is that Jean Valet, she's very, very reckless. And I told you guys about how the styles match up, okay? Well, I think Amanda Lemos is a bit more athletic. Um, I think her timing is better than Jean Valet's. I think she's got better timing. We Lee, her timing isn't very good. We Lee just throws a lot of punches. She throws a lot of strikes and bunches. You know, she throws a lot of punches and kicks. But there's really, there's really like not a lot of accuracy that goes with that. Whereas Amanda Lemos, she's gonna try to be a little bit more accurate because she wants to land a kill shot. Okay, that that's Lemos. And also too, I think Lemos has better octagon IQ. I think Lemos got better octagon IQ. And, you know, the reason why Wheelie got knocked out by Rose is because she tried to rush in there. She tried to rush in there. She tried to be really wild, and she got caught. She got caught. And, you know, sometimes in points in fights, I don't think Wheelie uses the best octagon IQ. Um, I think she just kind of goes balls to the walls. And, you know, in many situations, she's able to get that victory. Um, Amanda Lemos is going to is gonna be favored a size advantage, okay? If she's bigger than Wheelie. She's bigger than Wheelie, and... She's strong, strong as hell, man. I just, I don't know. And to me personally, I think Amanda Lemos, I mean, hell, Amanda Lemos could be a bantamweight. Like, this girl, Amanda, cuts down so much weight to be a straw weight. It's, 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 it's crazy. I mean, could could we call her weight bully? Yeah, probably. But she makes the weight. But this girl cuts a lot of weight to get down to straw weight, okay? I remember when Amanda Lemos was fighting as a bantamweight. I remember that, okay? I remember that. So, I mean, you know, Amanda Lemos, damn, they could be a bantamweight. She's going to always enjoy a size advantage, and she's going to always, you know, hydrate up. So that's something in my mind if I was Wee Lee that I'd be thinking about. And not only thinking about, you know, Wee Lee need to start really sparring with people who are bantamweights. Because Amanda Lemos, she's going to come in there with that size advantage. She's going to come in with the power advantage. Okay? And she's probably, probably stronger now. It's not a fact. Okay, I'm just saying she may be a little stronger than Wheelie. I just think this fight is a bad matchup for Wheelie. I think Amanda Lemos' style is all wrong. Okay, Amanda Lemos, you know, has some speed. She's very athletic. And her strikes are powerful, all of them. Whenever she throws a strike, even a jab, it causes damage. And you have to be careful with somebody like that. You got to be real careful. Because I can tell you right now, if Rose can knock you out, you better damn well believe Amanda Lemos can knock you out, okay? It, it's just a foregone conclusion. Um, but it is going to be a very entertaining fight, and this is the fight that we need, okay? This is the fight that WMMA needs. This is going to be the fight. And you mark my words, this will be fight of the year. 
these two ladies, they're going to go down there, they're going to go to war, okay? Um, it's just both of them, they don't have any quit in them. And both of them, they like knocking people out. They like to knock people out. They like the finishes. Um, I think in this fight, we Lee is going to have to wrestle a bit more than normal. Because I feel like the longer we Lee stands with Amanda Lemos, the more likely that she's going to get her ass knocked to smooth out. Okay? I, I don't think it's smart for Wee Lee to try to, you know, have a standing battle with Amanda Lemos. I, I just I don't think it works. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> mm, damn, allergic to fanboys over here. But seriously, I I believe that Wee Lee is going to need some more wrestling. Matter of fact, go back to hearing Cejudo. Go back to hearing Cejudo. I, I think the man had you. If, if there's a wrestler on the planet who can get you ready, it's probably hearing Cejudo. That's probably what you need to do, man. And two, when you're fighting a person like Lemos, you need coaches who are going to tell you the uncompromised truth. Whether you like it or not, you need a coach that's going to tell you the truth. And I think hearing Cejudo, he's one of those people. He's going to tell you the truth. You're not going to sit and let you make a bunch of excuses on why you lost. And how, nah, he's going to tell you the truth. And that's what she need, man. See, as, as a trainer, as a coach, and as an athlete, you need a trainer that's going to tell you the truth no matter what. They're going to tell you exactly what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. And unfortunately, telling people what they need to hear is not popular. In this, in this day and age where everybody's so sensitive, in this day and age where everybody, you know, looking to counsel you and you just, you can't say what needs to be said. You know, unless you're a multimillionaire and you got a few hundred million in the bank and, you know, you don't have zero Fs about anything because you don't have to worry. Your life is already there. You can say what you want to say. You can say anything. But, you know, for the people that's got a lot to lose, the people that's working, that's doing their thing, and they don't want to lose their nest egg, nah, you can't say what you want to say. Not about somebody trying to counsel you. <laughs> and at worst, you know, blackmailing you, you know, trying to, I, I don't know, death threats. You just, you can't say what you want to say anymore. This society has gone very, very soft. Very soft. It is what it is. But I know in this fight right here, I do believe that Amanda Lemos has the advantages for the reasons that I told y'all. Okay? Um, it's the same thing I started feeling when, you know, Wee Lee was fighting Carla. I just said, this fight's Wee Lee's to lose. Well, Amanda Lemos got all the advantages. She got it all. Wee Lee is going to fight. She's going to fight like the dog she is, okay? She's going to fight like a champion. But I just think Amanda Lemos is going to be too much. I think she's going to be too much. You know, and the dumb thing is, too, you know, as soon as Wee Lee beat Carla, you had pundits and news people, you know, talking about, you know, man, <laughs> she need to go ahead and call out Valentina. And I'm sitting there thinking, why? Why does she need to call out Valentina? This girl got problems right here in her own backyard. <laughs> you got this Amanda Lemos problem. This ain't going away. This problem ain't going away. Amanda Lemos is here. Okay? Amanda Lemos is going to get the next title shot. So I guess, in my opinion, I guess Jean Millet better take a good look at this Brazilian. Okay? She better take a very, very good look at this Brazilian. Because this Brazilian don't play. This Brazilian don't play. She don't play around. And she's going to go in there and she's going to punish Wheatley. Wheatley is going to get hit and she's never going to, I mean, she's going to feel like she's never been hit that hard before by a woman. Okay? I got Amanda Lemos. And I got Amanda Lemos a knockout in the fourth round or the fifth round. John Millet, hold on to the belt while you can.